मैं कमी प्लीज कमी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग Mr. Girish Kumar Reddy, please take your seat. Thank you. Is this you, sir? Yes, sir. This is me, sir. M. Girish Kumar Reddy. Yes, sir. What does the M stand for? Minnam Reddy, sir. Minnam Reddy. What is the meaning of the Minnam? I don't know. Okay. Fine, Mr. Girish. If you are thirsty, you can take water. No, sir. Fine. I'm okay, sir. Okay. Said uh, your hobby is cricket. Yes, sir. You have emphasized much about the cricket. It seems uh, you are like a cricketer rather than an ESC aspirant. Yes, Sir, I love cricket, sir. In, our, in addition to that, um, I want to be the part of engineering services. So I am I'm very much passionate about that. So I think I can balance both cricket and services. See, what are the recent news in this cricket? Um, coming to recent results. Um, Indian women cricket team lost to England cricket team in the final of World Cup. Where was it held? England. England. So India lost the match. So what are the turning point in your opinion? Why that Indian team lost the game? Mm, actually, Indian talenters felt pressure at the end. Uh, in my opinion, only talenters feel pressure, not the. Sir, actually, the moment was momentum was going well uh, till some fourth order, fifth order batsmen. But uh, at the end, our talenters got tensed, and we just lost momentum. Opposition just uh, got the okay. opportunity. Are you bowler or batsman? Sir, I'm bowler. Sir. Bowler. Okay. There is one rule called 15 degree flexion rule in cricket. Can you explain? Sir, actually, it is the angle between the point at which bowler arm. Passes above the shoulder height and the point at which ball is released. Actually, that angle should not cross 15 degrees according to the cricket rules. If we cross the rule, if we cross more than 15 degrees, it it indirectly means we are violating the rules of cricket. It is not allowed. Okay, you have heard this day Lodha committee something like this with regard to cricket. Or the Loda committee? Actually, it is a committee appointed by Supreme Court in order to look into the irregularities happening in cricket boards in India. What are its recommendations? Mm, it has some recommendations like uh, it made um, like legalization of betting mm, and do you encourage betting? No, sir. But the committee recommended it. What do you say on that? Sir, actually, it recommended legalization of betting, sir. It means, uh, if, uh, anyhow, we can't uh, restrict betting from not to happen. At least it recommended to, if it legalize, at least it provides some in form of tax, it will be helpful to government or we can just... Uh, you mean to say you want to generate a tax out of betting? Yes, sir. Or also, we can just... Uh, we can have a view on everyone's uh, accounts, like what is happening exactly, how much money is just flowing out of betting and all. At least we can have a clear view. Okay. And also you said that uh, you love serving the old people. Yes, sir. How do you actually serve them? Mm, I serve them in a physical medium like uh, bringing them their needs like groceries, mm. like uh, fruits and vegetables, like some medical help. Where do you do all these activities? Will you go to any old age home or? 
will you go to their houses i'll i'll go to old age homes uh, very rarely but when i when i when i have time i'll go to my hometown and in my hometown in my hometown and in in particular in my village we have um, old people so i do help them regularly when i go there and how often you do that one regularly means mm. so when i have free time i'll definitely do so okay uh, will you do it with your own money or you will charge anything for that mm. so actually i'm not charging anything for my service just i'm taking money from them and i'm just spending it on for the purpose of their products only i'm just taking money i'm just purchasing things and i'm just returning back i'm just like a mediator okay mm -hmm. and also you said that uh, you have directed and uh, acted in a short movie what is the theme of that movie sir actually it was made out of uh, comedy sense sir there is no specifically theme like uh, just for fun while we are in btech comedy it's a comedy movie okay and you also you happen to be your cricket team captain so as a captain how do you motivate your team members at crucial times mm, i always used to say them like mm, just don't mm, just don't get uh, yourself demotivated give your best performance uh, don't expect or don't bother about result mm, give your best okay sir in shigri shayar there are different <coughs> transforms which are being applied or used in different systems can you tell me about laplace transform z transform and fourier transform their applications in different systems actually z transform i used to design discrete time systems sir mm, and coming to fourier transform mm, to analyze the frequency spectrum of a given signal we go for fourier transform mm, i am unable to recollect the application of for laplace transform now so uh, in control system what type of transform we use uh, actually in control systems we prefer laplace transform to find the transfer function yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so now you have recollected yes, uh, regarding stability in control systems can you explain about the marginal stability and relative stability what are they yes sir actually the marginal stability is the point at which the system is at the verge of instability even if some minor changes in the system happen uh, the system is going to be unstable now coming to relative stability um, it is it gives the information about the degree of stability like how how stable it is like less stable or more stable compared to a reference stable system okay there is another stability also which is called as absolute uh, stability can you tell me the the methods of measurement eh, for relative stability and absolute stability actually for absolute stability mainly we prefer rauth hurwitzian criteria mm, for relative stability we go for techniques like polar plot bode plot and nyquist plot what about the root locus uh, yes sir we can use root locus also for to measure relative stability uh, and uh, can we use uh, rh criteria for relative stabilities okay. yes sir actually we can use but it involves complex analysis and like step by step analysis we have much more easy techniques to measure relative stability that's why we don't prefer uh, rh criteria often okay there are uh, some <coughs> feedback <coughs> systems also to use in control system positive feedback and negative feedback Can you explain them clearly? Yes, sir. Uh, we prefer to use negative feedback system wherever stability is our primary criteria. But we prefer positive feedback systems whenever 
instability is our criteria like whenever we need an oscillator we go for positive feedback systems whenever uh, we need some stable systems we prefer negative feedback systems hello mr girish sir can you tell me what is the cause of lightning sir whenever there is sudden discharge of electricity from high pressure region like clouds to low pressure region like earth will get lightnings but, but there is no conductor how do you get electricity even in insulator whenever the breakdown voltage is exceeded whenever the applied voltage is exceeding breakdown voltage the flow occurs how do you measure resistance in a laboratory mm, to measure resistance we have some methods like uh, we can use a potentiometer we can use uh, multi multimeter we can use voltmeter ammeter how are resistance and temperature related in a conductor in a conductor if temperature is increased resistance also increases what about a semiconductor in a semiconductor uh, it is opposite case sir whenever temperature is increased resistance is going to be decreased can you tell me the reason why uh, actually in a semiconductor whenever we are increasing the temperature the energy gap between the conduction band and the valence band is going to be decreased so that means there is more accessible for valence electrons to break the covalent band and move into conduction band how many types of semiconductors are there mm, mainly we can differentiate like uh, into intrinsic semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor and we have in extrinsic in extrinsic semiconductor we have like p type semiconductor n type semiconductor and composite semiconductors i have a practical question for you mr girish yes. i have a tata sky connection I am watching TV. Yes. Sir. Suddenly it rained, and the signal went off. Yes. Sir. What can be the reason for it? Mm. It may be. I am not sure about that, sir. But as far as my knowledge is concerned, I am saying. because it may be the reason it uh, interference of uh, rain drops and that's why the signal strength is getting attenuated that's why we are getting no signal okay okay mr girish so you said attenuation right okay can you tell me the difference between attenuation and fading I don't have any ideas. So, so can you suggest me any tools how to measure that? Means how to measure that interference or attenuation? Mm. Sir, so far I didn't get I didn't get an opportunity to learn that, sir. Okay, fine. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Girish, can you define an inverter? Just define what is meant by an inverter. which reverses the input logic like if it is logic 0 it inverts like into logic 1 or if it is logic 1 it inverts into logic 0 okay fine uh, can you design an inverter by using single bijedi transistor yes sir fine can i take pencil yes proceed okay can you explain its operation sir whenever we are giving high input okay the transistor is going to be on okay so that uh, let us assume we see sat is equals to 0 okay so that's why we are getting v not is equals to 0 that means whenever we are giving high input as high we are ge getting output as low okay. so and in another way whenever we are giving out input low that means transistor is not going to be on okay. it is in off state okay. so that no current we can replace it by open circuit no current is flowing through resistor so total vcc is appearing across v not that's why we are getting v not is equals to 1 okay 
Fine. Uh, can you design more compact uh, inverter by using CMOS? Go ahead. Please go ahead. Where is the output taken? Explain its operation. Whenever we are giving high input, only NMOS is going to be on, PMOS is going to be off. That means whenever NMOS is going to be on, we are getting this as short circuit. That's how we are getting V0 is equal to 0. And whenever we are giving input low, PMOS is going to be on. NMOS is going to be off. That's how we are short circuiting it and entire voltage is crossing, entire voltage is appearing across the output. So we are getting output as one. Fine. Uh, can you compare? Means can you compare both these things? Uh, what are which has more advantage and why? Obviously CMOS has more advantage over BJT. Uh, look at there. Uh, there I am using only single transistor. Here I am using two transistors. How I am getting more advantage? I think it is becoming more bulky, right? Mm. Compared to uh, <coughs> putting across size, okay. putting side, uh, putting size of the equipment aside, we have many more advantages for CMOS over BJT like low power dissipation oh, nice. and very high fan out, very high noise margin. Okay. Mm, so because of these factors, we can prefer CMOS over BJT. In terms of packing density. You know, you have come across this term packing density. What is meant by packing density? Uh, in a specific region, how many transistors we can fit into them? But in terms of packing density, what can you say which has more advantages? Mm. I'm not clear. Sir. Fine. Uh, so, can you design a simple uh, memory element by using CMOS inverter? Can I go for inverter, sir? Yes. Sure. Mm. I think we can we can this circuit inverter as a memory element. Ah yes. You That's can it. use the same blocks also. then I'll go for buffer. Yes. Sure. Uh, suppose this is a CMOS circuit. Okay. This is one CMOS circuit. Okay. This is other CMOS circuit. Okay. Uh, by cascading these two CMOS circuits, mm -hmm. obviously we'll get buffer. I mean, this combination is acting as buffer. Okay. How can you explain the operation? Uh, this is inverter. Okay. This is again an inverter. Okay. Inverting an inverter, we are getting the original circuit. Indirectly, it is acting like a buffer. Fine. Like, uh, do you know about microwaves? Yes. Okay. Uh, can you suggest me a method to generate a microwave? We can. In laboratories, we can use tunnel rate oscillator. Fine. In laboratories, other than in laboratories, naturally, can we means is there any occurrence of microwaves? You will come across it daily. I am not aware of that, sir. Fine, it is sunlight. Okay, sir. Okay, Mr. Girish. Your entry is over. You may leave. Thank you, sir. Thank you, also.